Hello and welcome to another edition of Fix 64. I'm Darren Hadley. Um, we just uh, built this uh, Alienware. Um, I started with a $299 kind of bare bones unit with just the motherboard, the fans, the power supply, and the case. And we made it into a, an Intel i9-13900K RTX 5080 powerhouse. And it's very speedy on startup and file transfer, everything, due to the Fixero P7000 Pro that Fixero sent me. Um, so that's kind of what we're going to be going over today in this video. So stay tuned for that. And uh, at the beginning of the video, you'll just see me installing it from the previous video. And then we will get into some benchmarks. Install the SSD next. What I have here is the Fixero P7000 Pro. 2 terabytes, read speed 7,000 megabits per second, up to 7,000 megabits per second. It's a standard 2280 drive. I was provided this by Fixero and I really appreciate it. Let me get it open. Looks like a very high end drive. They have a new heat sink, it's copper sleeve. And we will be putting that on. Keep the temps down. Very nice looking drive, very quality. Okay. I, I, yeah, okay, so we just peel that and then put that over it. Okay, I've got the uh, Fixero P7000 right here. I'm going to put the thermal pad on. You know how I am with plastic pills and thermal pads. Oh, shh. Put that there, and then take this pill off. Line up the screw hole area. Okay. That's all there is to it. And take the included screw. And screw it down. Okay. Okay, I was just checking the thermals here. Uh, looks like it hovers around uh, the low 30s on on idle. So very good. The cooler seems to be working wonderful and awesome. And the Fixero drives keep them plenty cool with the copper heatsink. Okay, let me give you a 
quick rundown of the P7000 Pro. Uh, this one is two terabytes and um, it's Gen 4x4 PCIe. It's NVMe of course, uh, M.2, 7,000 up to 7,000 megabits per second read and up to 6,600 megabits per second write. It uh, utilizes all the PCIe Gen 4 channels, whether you're launching an app, transferring large files, or playing a game. It uh, delivers a high-speed, seamless experience. So, yep, I'm I'm finding it's it's very very fast. It's uh, got an advanced heat dissipation upgrade, which is the uh, it's a new cooling design that they came out with uh, instead of an aluminum vest it's a high conductivity copper sheet for better heat transfer it's uh, it has an extra thermal silicon pad which further helps heat dissipation and after removing the base Fixero optimized the internal structure of the SSD to ensure better heat dissipation as well and this helps the 2 terabyte SSD run stable at high speeds. Thanks to these improvements, this upgrade maximizes performance, extends lifespan, and safeguards data, offering a reliable storage option. We will, we will get to testing here in a second. Um, and the P7000 also uh, uses 3D NAND flash with uh, wear leveling, garbage collection, and over-provisioning, ensuring high performance, lower latency, and extended lifespan, minimizing failure rates, which is very nice because who wants to have their main drive fail, right? It's designed in the standard of the M.2 2280. As you saw, we installed it earlier in the Alienware system. It supports Windows, Ubuntu Linux and uh, other various uh, Linux operating systems. This series provides a variety of capacity options from 512 gigabytes to 4 whopping terabytes which is awesome and uh, that really helps your game library. I mean just Call of Duty alone is like what 600 megabytes or 600 gigabytes sorry. It, it's just crazy nowadays and then content creation I mean I'm I've almost filled a 20 terabyte uh, backup drive just you know so, so you need as much as you can get nowadays oops I lost the screen there and then uh, they also fix arrow also provides a five-year service and professional technical so yeah technical support warranty so if you have any issues during use they will try their best to solve it for you so awesome that's the little rundown on it and let's get to testing okay we will start off with a sequential read and write this is a one gigabyte file Let me zoom in. 7107. It's higher than than the specs. Very good. And the right's supposed to be up to 6600 megabits per second. Wow, 6380. That's that's very good. So the read is above spec and the writes right there. So this thing is fast and dependable. Let's try an eight gig file. Let's see where we come in at. Wow, same. Whoa, very impressive. You now the right's coming in. Yep, very.
Very good. Okay, let's crank it up a bit. All right, let's try a 64. We like 64 here. This one takes a little bit longer because it has to create the test files. All right, reads coming in, it looks like. 6850. And we will see where right comes in. 4,931. That was one. Oh, 5,173. Very good. Ooh, there we go. Let's, uh, let's run it again. 64 gigabytes. We're going to do five passes this time. I'm very impressed with this drive. It's, it's really snappy and quick. 6814. 6980. Very good. Very, very good. Let's see what the ride is. 5751. Ooh, 5853. Nice. Going up. Very good. Awesome. That is one quick drive. Let's see what a 128 megabyte file is just for the heck of it. Nice. And now the right. Wow. Very good. Awesome. Yeah, it's nice to have a drive that big too, two terabytes. Need to buy a, a four terabyte version. Okay, in conclusion, I would like to thank Fixero for sending over the P7000 Pro in their two terabyte capacity. Um, very fast drive. I'm I'm impressed. I highly recommend it. It uh, I love the sleeve, the copper sleeve. It actually kind of has a gold look, and I I love that because I'm gonna do a kind of a gold build coming up so stay tuned for that um yeah if you want to find out more about the drive uh, check the links below they they make a very good ssd i would also like to thank my viewers and subscribers and if you like this sort of thing or pc builds or vintage hardware whatever um, please subscribe and uh, click the bell notification icon so you can know when i upload again i guess that wraps this up um yeah look at those speeds great drive all right um until next time